Hi everyone, I'm a homeschool mom here. Hope everyone's having a great week. We actually just got done doing our human body unit. Uh, we spent a couple of weeks on this and we actually lean towards this unit because my preschooler was asking me questions like, why does my tummy rumble when I'm hungry? And why are my eyes wet when I cry? So I just kind of followed her lead and created this unit study for her. Um, so today we're gonna show you what we've been doing for the past couple of weeks. All right, so the first guy here, I'd have to say this was probably the favorite. Um, and this little magnetic person came from Melissa and Doug and it's pretty cool. So they can dress them up with muscles and they also have some clothes. And they have organs as well. Bear with me guys, I have one hand available. And then they also have your cardiovascular system, so your heart and your veins and arteries. Um, and they have both the girl anatomy and the boy anatomy as well for this. So yeah, I'd have to say this guy was probably the favorite for both the toddler and the preschooler these past couple weeks. So yeah, there's that. And then we have just a few of our favorite books. So we have uh, Usborne Your Body book and then Me and My Amazing Body. And I really recommend this one for preschoolers. This was such a really fun book. All right, moving on. For this activity, um, we have kind of a matching game as well as a description. Um, and then this came from two different websites and actually a lot of these activities that I'll be going through have been inspired by other bloggers and YouTubers. So I'll be sure to link everything below in the description box so you guys can find it. Okay. So the first one are these um, anatomy cards. And then I got these a Safari LTD tube of the human anatomy to go with. So you'd have the matched brain, and then your liver, kidneys. So yeah, we just lay them out and match. Um, and even my toddler really enjoyed this matching activity. And then as they match them, I would kind of go through the cards here and kind of just talk about their function. So the kidneys, when they would do kidneys, I'd say this organ creates the urine in our body or pee. Uh, and then our liver, this organ filters our blood. And then the brain, this organ controls our body and tells it what to do and think. So yeah, those are cute little cards to go with. Um, and this was really good for the preschooler and now she always says after she hears stomach is our, where our food goes after you chew and swallow it. So that was a really fun one. And again, I'll link everything below for you guys. All right, moving on to the next one. So we also have, we've been talking about eating healthy and helping our body grow and stay strong and healthy. Um, and these two felt activities I actually found at the Target dollar spot uh, when school started. Uh, so be sure to check there again in the fall when they have all their back to school stuff because they really have some great educational activities in that little dollar spot. This first one is a matching one and honestly this was super easy for my preschooler but it was really great for my toddler to practice matching and matching up the colors, the shapes and colors. So just kind of different. And we also worked on vocabulary. Uh, so naming all the fruit, different fruits. So blueberries, pear, so 
he enjoyed that one. This next one we have is like a little healthy eating story. Um, we really focused on sorting food into junk and healthy food. So she would just take the little felt, felt pieces and place them in the healthy section or the junk food section. So comes with like a little cupcake and some candy for the junk and then the healthy they have apple, carrot, fish, and a few more things. And then they also have a make your own healthy meal, so portions. So you'd have them put fruits and vegetables, your grains, and your proteins. They would do that. So protein, fruits and vegetables, and then a grain. So she really enjoyed that one. And it was a great little hands-on activity for talking about how, why eating healthy is so important for our bodies. Right. The next activities we have are little uh, layered puzzles. So I have a girl one for my preschooler and then I got a boy one for my toddler. Um, and this was a little too difficult for him, but he still enjoyed taking all of the pieces out. So that's okay. Um, so these are pretty neat. They have below is, it goes down to the different layers. So you have your bones, what make up your skeleton. And then it goes into the organs and the cardiovascular system, so you got your veins and arteries, and then your muscles, your skin, and then we wear clothes on top of our body. Um, so this was just a good little activity to show them that there's different layers in our body, even though it's not in really the correct order, but that's okay. The point is just to get them to understand that we have different systems in our body. And I'll go and show you, show you what the head looks like to give you an idea what that looks like. Yeah, there's the skeleton, your brain, things and arteries, your muscles, your skin. So yeah, those are pretty fun and they're self-correcting. So the boy pieces actually don't fit into the girl ones. If they mix them up, it's pretty easy to get them back in the right puzzle. All right, next we have our pre-riding activity. So for this one, I put out her little sand tray here and she would kind of just go through these cards and we'd work on letter sounds as well as writing in their sand tray. So L for L, 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 liver. And she would write her L. And then she'd shake it up and go to the next one. So we would do the sand tray. And then after that or a different day, she would just do the marker. And she would just kind of trace along the dotted line. And so they have all the different ones here. Now I was actually surprised on how much she enjoyed tracing. But yeah, so that was pretty cool. There's that. And again, I'll be sure to link everything below in the description box. You guys can know where to find these. Moving on up here. So the first thing we did actually was read Hear Your Heart. And this is by Paul Showers. And this is a really cute book. Um, I think it was a little lengthy for her, but whatever she took out of it was great. Uh, basically it just talks about the function of your heart, how it pumps blood and how it goes out through your arteries and in through your veins. And then it also kind of talks about um, the different speeds of heart rates, why, how a baby's is much faster than an adult's, and a grandpa's maybe a lot slower than a kid's, and why it had 
Ugh, our heart rate is much slower when we're sleeping and faster when we're exercising. And then it also talks about how larger animals' heartbeats are much slower than, like, say, a, a parakeet or a mouse. Theirs go a lot faster. So yeah, that was a really fun book. And then we also got a little stethoscope. It's actually not a toy one. This is a real one. It's like five bucks on Amazon, guys. And it actually works. And so they really love playing with that and pretending to be a doctor. Um, and then we also made a little heart pumping model to go with that. And I've recreated it for you guys today. It's just a simple model that demonstrates how the heart pumps blood. Um, so I'll kind of show you guys. You just kind of push here and then out comes your blood. And then to do this, I basically cut um, the neck off of a balloon and then wrapped it around the jar here with a rubber band. And then I cut two tiny holes. I just poked it with a toothpick and then spread it out as I was placing the two straws in here. And then this straw, I uh, taped and put a rubber band around another balloon on the top of it. And then for the color of the blood, I actually didn't have any food coloring, so I just picked up a packet of Kool-Aid. Uh, so it was actually much cheaper than buying a whole thing of um, food coloring. So this one was a hit, guys. They love doing this. We actually did this like two or three days in a row because they kept asking to do it. So yeah, that's just a fun way to teach them how, why, <clears throat> that our heart pumps blood. And then the next day, we actually moved on to what's in our blood, what makes up our blood. And we made this little model. And it didn't turn out the greatest, but they had a good time making it. Um, so we have little red candies for our red blood cells and then little marshmallows for our white blood cells and then we used vegetable oil for the plasma and then little white sprinkles for the platelets. And we tried to do our best to give it the proper proportions of red blood cells, white blood cells, plasma and platelets but obviously it's not going to be perfect. And the point was just to kind of go over the different components of our blood. And then we also read a drop of blood to go with that activity. Uh, this is such a silly story. Kind of just tells what's in our blood and how our body uses blood. But yeah, That was a really cute one to go with that activity. All right. Moving on, so we also decided just to have our five senses included in our human body activity, or unit study, sorry. Um, so first we read, you can't taste a pickle with your ear, which we found at our library. And this book is pretty darn cute. And it has some good rhyming. Yeah, just talks about your five different senses and then I made a little sensory five senses tray for her. Um, so we have sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch. Um, for taste, obviously I don't have anything in here right now, but I put some peanuts and blueberries and some chocolate chips. Uh, just trying to go over sweet and salty um, how we have different tastes. <clears throat> and then we have touch. So touch, I have just a little cut up piece of felt. So she can feel fuzzy. And then we have a miniature Play-Doh container so she could feel how the container is kind of hard and then she would open it and feel the Play-Doh, how it's squishy. And then we have sound. I just have a few different musical instruments that they would play. And then for sight, I have a flashlight and then just a picture. It's an old picture of me and a beluga whale, so they really enjoyed that. <laughs> um, for smell, I just put out some different spices. 
Uh, and I let them just kind of get a sniff of those too. So I, I did garlic and cinnamon. Um, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of different things you guys could put in your five senses tray. So just be, be creative with it. All right, down here we have an art project that we did. Um, kind of just going over our bones. Um, obviously we kept it really simple with them being pretty young. Uh, but they would cut, they colored their little bow ties and then they glued on their little uh, skeleton faces. And then I helped them uh, glue on these Q tips that I cut up. And you'll want to use actual glue for this activity. And then last, oh, actually, over here, real quick, we have our little apron so this i was actually gonna make one but i found one on amazon for like 15 bucks so i just went ahead and bought it um, but they enjoyed wearing this and they could take off the different organs they're just kind of velcroed on so you got your lungs and your heart and they're all labeled too your liver I'm gonna say the small intestine is hard to put back on, um, but I understand why they made it the way they did. And then down here you have your bladder. So yeah, they just really enjoyed taking those off and putting them back on and wearing the apron. All right, and then lastly, we just have some more of our human anatomy books. Um, so we have our The Human Body, Osborne Shine Light one. Our Osborne First Encyclopedia of the Human Body. And then just some library books we found. Let's look at bodies. Why does my tummy rumble when I'm hungry? And other questions about the digestive system. And then I wonder why I blink. And other questions about my body. So yeah, we kind of just went through all those. Um, probably really read like one a day. Um, but it worked out because we spent about three weeks on this unit study. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. And hit the little bell below so you can be notified when new videos are up. Alright, have a great day everyone. Bye.